Believe it or not, Iowa has almost 440 golf courses in it, and we took a look at every one of them to bring you the top 10 public golf courses. Before you swing in, take a look at the channel. We're hitting some of the top public golf courses in each state, along with the top golf courses in every country. We're doing everything golf, and we're going to continue to do other golf things. That's what this is. It's a golf channel. Let's zoom in now to number 10 on this list. The course costs about $60 to play on the top end, and it's a par 72 that stretches 6,115 yards. Of course, it's a slope of 119, a rating of 69.5. It was built in 1972 by Mike Young and is open year-round for some championship golf. Oof, that's a good good golf course to start us off and it's important to know that this list is constantly changing we're going to be updating it and you know we're going to be looking at some of the comments to see which course we miss so you don't want to mess up with that this course is about 45 dollars that we're looking at number nine the ridge golf club it's pretty cheap but it packs a nice little punch it's six thousand it was built in two thousand and nine and stretches along from the back tees 7,209 yards with a rating of 75.1, a slope of 132, and a par 71. Built by Jerry Slack. Now, we got eight more golf courses to look at. This list is going to be flying. We got a lot of good golf throughout the state. We'd like to hit every part of the state throughout these lists. And legend there. Golf Club is the, another golf course. A little bit of houses on it. Not a fan of those type of courses, uh, but you gotta give respect a well maintenance course here. Course is about fifty dollars to play, and from the back tee stretches seven thousand one hundred and ninety nine yards. It was built in two thousand and twenty, and it looks like it is in even in the family. It's a family golf course. It's a lot to like. A lot of a lot of bunkers, and it's well maintained. And a couple of the holes are known to be very challenging. But not as challenging as the next couple golf courses on this list. we still got seven more golf courses to take a look at throughout the state. Some of the best golf is left to be played. So let's swing in now to Blue Top Ridge. A gem of a golf course on the southern part of the state. Let's take a look at how bright. Look at that. It just jumps out at you. A fun 18-hole chain. This is a championship course here. Midday, this golf course can go for about $50. It's 7,505 yards from the back tees with a slope of 141, a rating of 77.2. It's built in 2007 by Reese Jones. This golf season goes from April to September, and there's some decent deals on golf now. It's going to quickly move us to number six on this list, and there's a lot to like here, too, at this link style course that was built in 2000. It's Bentgrass Greens. It stretches 6,614 yards from those back tees. It's a par 72. Its rating is a 71.8. Not too challenging with a slope of 127. It's got, you know, a practice facility, putting greens, and all the amenities. It's also well priced. It's pretty reasonable. Um, under 50 bucks. But it looks like it can go up a little bit higher than that depending on midday rates. Let's zoom out and take a look at what's going to break us into half on this list. Number five goes to. This is one of the top golf courses. A lot of history here. The course was designed by Dick Nugent and Robert Harrison in 1953. It's a part 72. It stretches along 7,017 yards. It has a slope of 134 and a rating of 74.1. There's four tee boxes to choose from and a lot of good golf to be played here. They keep well-maintained greens and putting surfaces. And there's no doubt that that's a championship golf course. But is it a number five golf course? Well, let us know because we're going to be constantly updating this list. Let's zoom in now to our number fourth golf course, Saddleback Ranch. Or, no, Ridge Golf Course. Now, stretches 6,615 yards with a rating of 71.7 slope of 127 as well it is a parking lot along with a practice facility it has carts amenities and a lot of other stuff that a golf course has 
it's pretty good shape and we couldn't get the best footage of this golf course uh, but you can see it's more of a link style course but the, it's very reasonably priced looks like it's under 50 bucks it's a good course it's gonna now move us into the top three and all these golf courses have been ranked as the top golf courses so we decided to switch them up and give them this one to number three on our list tournament club of iowa this 18 old golf course is another very prestigious course that's been ranked a top golf course year in and year out it's only about 65 dollars to play with you and a group of your friends and it's got a lot of water and other amenities let's zoom in now to number two on our list and this one you feel like you're almost in the jungle look at this it's a well-maintained golf course as well it's the number two of course the course right now, just looking on golf now, about $45 to play. Very, very reasonable. I suspect it goes up a little bit more. It's 7,047 yards with a slope of 127, a rating of 73.7. It was built in 1987 by Bobby Weed and Ron Greer. It's got Bermuda grass and Bermuda fairways. is an open year round. Whoa. Believe it or not, we got one golf course left. Don't get scared. Spirit Hollow. And this is this is always the top golf course, you know, in the state. So we had to give it our number one course here. It's it's it deserves it. And we might go back and make some updates, take a seat and take you know make some updates there. But for the most part, this is our number one golf course. It's designed by Rick Japison in 2000. It stretches 7,301 yards with a slope of 134 and a rating of 74.8. And it's pretty reasonable. 50 bucks to play the course. That's going to do it for our list. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. Go fly. This is World Twilight Golf. Launch control. This is Houston. We are go for launch.